themselves having really difficult conversations with their children as a result of all of this. As WHO 13's Natalie Painter tells us, mental health experts say it is critical to talk to kids. Well, Dan and Aaron, when it comes to kids, the recent shooting and other gun violence events may seem like unspeakable horrors, but mental health experts do say they're important to address. Now, local therapists tell us that as kids are processing this tragedy, they need to be told by their parents they're safe. Putting this into context can be helpful in preventing them from being desensitized to the topic. If your child is experiencing anxiety, it is best to acknowledge it, but don't escalate their fears or worries. And keep a close eye out to see if their emotions are, are affecting their daily routine. Be positive, but realistic when speaking in regards to anxiety. Um, these are all things that we could do to um, decrease these symptoms. Um, but the but one of the main things is just to communicate. Keep an open line of communication with your children, with members of the community. Um, make sure you're that one that can be a positive, uh, uh, non-judgmental source. Now, if a child is having difficulty sleeping or getting anxious about going into school, parents may want to seek further guidance. All right, good reminder.